baby. Thank you. You know, it's lonely, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna record a YouTube video, okay? We're gonna talk about your sister. And it'll be the end of the chapter. Okay, so go lay down, baby. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I first wanna say, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for all of your guys' love and your support through this really, really, really stressful, um, confusing, heart-wrenching, like, I can't, there's not even words to really describe like what I've gone through the past month or two. Just seeing what has all gone on and like getting answers and then the chapter is now over. I just can't thank you guys enough for all of my Facebook friends, from family to friends, the people that just watch my YouTube videos to strangers that don't even know, to reach out to me and just really give me a love advice and honestly just say that you've been through it or you've known someone that gotten through it or you saw me as how great of an owner I am to my dog and um, just a lot, you know, there's a lot that I will cherish for the rest of my life, you know, um, I have memories like this, you know, I really wanted to train her to just be a really trick dog and just be real cute when people come over and things like that and just, I don't know. Making this video, you know, I've tried making this a couple times, but like, I'm struggling to get through it without crying, and I just, I'm sick of my YouTube. Literally, it should just be called youtube.com slash Brian Cries. Uh, like, literally, but see, I'm getting emotional again. It's just, I just can't thank you guys enough for what you guys have done for me, and I just really, 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 really appreciate it. I wanted to make this video just to give you guys a little update on what happened with Molly. So Wednesday at 2.19 p.m., yeah, put her to sleep. The doctor did give her three months to live. If we did chemo and radiation, we would have her for six months. I felt as an owner that it's not fair to her. It's not fair to have her suffer for me to have her. I think God and my dog Maggie would love her up there. I just had to make a really, 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 really hard decision. And I, I just didn't want to go through the chemo and radiation for her for six months just to have her. It wasn't even about six months. They literally gave her three months, but what I started noticing is every single day was getting worse and worse when I got the news. She wasn't being able to walk up the stairs anymore. All she wanted to do was just lay down and uh, her bark was hoo, 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 is not what it used to be. It was really sad like when my friends come over when my brother comes home from work it was a roo 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 like a really cute ass roo 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 this is like a roo roo like a really bad like you could just tell her voice was going you could tell her lungs and her oxygen was getting really bad you could just see her breathing heavy and i just really as a family we did make a decision so i just thank you guys for being there for me during that time i kind of want to give you guys a little bit on what i've experienced putting my dog down i know this might sound very weird but it was absolutely one of the most beautiful things that I have ever experienced as letting go a pet. I know that sounds weird to say, but it was. She, I just a huge shout out to this veterinary, this place where we went to. Dr. Hillary was her name and absolutely so professional. I felt so loved and cared for and how much she cared for my dog. And I just, when we went in there, it was like, you gotta park in a different parking lot and then come through the back. And we went into this like, kind of like a funeral home. It was really, really, really beautiful. There was a fireplace, check this out. What, what was there was a nice warm fireplace and it was absolutely beautiful. She kind of talked to us about things, how it was gonna go on about and what's really crazy is like when they gave her the first drug, which is like what they used to put you to sleep surgery. Well, that got our drunk, she got up a little bit, which was really cute because she kind of fought it. But then when they injected the euthanization, it took at least 20 seconds for her to go. And um, it was so short, it was so sweet, it was so like peaceful. And I just like, I one had a major panic attack, which was the most scariest thing I've ever experienced, was like, I just like couldn't breathe. I couldn't catch my breath. It was just like, she's right here in front of me and like she's gone. And like when they told her that she was gone, like it was the most saddest thing I've ever experienced. I fell to the floor when I got outside. And what's so crazy is like right after she left, it started raining. 
And that like stunned me, like stunned, stunned me. Then I get into the car and I'm like, I'm, I really feel like an elephant sitting on my chest. And then like, I'm really, really, really here, like struggling to battle it. And I'm scared and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I feel alone and I feel lost. I'm just so confused because I just don't know how to live my life without her. And then like, I turn on the radio and see you again by Charlie Puth is on. And I'm just, me and my mom look at each other right away and we're like, what? And that kind of like helped me and relax because I was having a major panic attack. Like I literally was, uh, I couldn't catch my breath. And I texted Aubrey and I was like, oh my God, like I'm having a major panic attack. She told me to breathe through my nose and out my mouth. I've had a couple breakdowns since then. Going into my kitchen and uh, like eating dinner and she's not there. Like she is not there. And um, going into my room and she's not there. And I literally go into my bedroom and I look for her. Like I literally do. I look for her and um, I like see shadows and I just don't understand like what that is or what I'm experiencing. But it's, I think just, I, I remember so much about her that it's just, so, it's, it's in my head. Um, I'm gonna miss her a lot. Like, so much. It just sucks because, like, I think it'd be easier if it, she was 13. But, like, she was only five. See? Brian Bray's YouTube.com slash Brian Cries. But I'm gonna miss her a lot, and this is just... I wanted to let you guys know just thank you for everything and it, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be tough um i'm really strong though i'm very proud of myself i did and so did my brother and my mom we all were in the room when she did take her last breath um and that was my biggest biggest concern because i always was having a panic attack or an anxiety attack about not being able to handle it and i stayed strong and i did it and i told her that i stay strong for you and i want to be here until you go and i love you molly and um, our journey now ends here and you are not suffering anymore. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been tough. And, uh, I just can't thank you guys enough. I really can't. Like the love and the support and like just reaching out to me really makes me feel loved. It makes me feel that I was worth it. Um, that I was a really good parent to a dog. Cause I just, I never wanted to let her down. I wanted to do everything in my power that I could do because she deserved it. She was one of my best dogs I've ever had. I know Maggie was a really good dog too, but Maggie was more of like a family dog and Molly was more my dog. Molly was more like I was the one who took care of her. I was the one that did things for her and uh, my heart just breaks. Um, so it's, I think, a completely different thing than what my other dog was, but like I took this dog a lot harder um, just because of what we all have gone through um, in our family. And I just don't know about Farah. I don't know about her. And I just don't know if she's like confused, like where she's at or what's going on in her head or how she feels. But I just don't know. And it breaks my heart every single day because when Molly used to, when I would go get Farah to take her out in the morning to go to the bathroom, Molly would run to her kennel. And that's no longer a thing anymore. And when I do it every morning, it's like a reminder that she's not here. So it's just really hard to deal with it. Um, I have my emotions. I have my things that I'm going through, but I'm strong. She was so strong and I know that she's looking down on me and she's so proud of me and I'm so proud of her and I miss her so much. But I want to get the end of this video. Just a little ending to it. Um, Here's a couple videos. Here's a couple pictures for you guys to see the last of Molly and um, have this chapter end. So this is um, my baby girl, Miles. Um, she's such a loving dog. All right, sit. Good girl. Paw. Other paw. Thank you, honey.